here's a, here's a little story about a young boss who knew it's two ways it could go, like a coin toss. Venture, venture off into the world at the early age, where every story ends in prison or the pearly gates. You need to start setting your alarm. I ain't finna keep coming in here every morning waking you up. You in high school now. Ain't no time to play. I'ma need you to be serious about them books. I don't need no teachers calling my house telling me about what you ain't been doing. And don't be hanging around them dumb kids that ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah. When you get home from school, you need to cut that grass, all right? What's good, bro? Oh, what's up, boy? What class did you get? I don't know, I gotta pick up my schedule. Can I help you? I'm here to pick up my schedule. Name? DeAndre Brown. Grade? Freshman. Here. Thanks. Let me see. Bad, bro, we got gym together. That's what's up. I think our locker's this way. Dre, what's up? Hey, what's good, fam? They having football trials at the school. You going? Nah, bro. I ain't even feeling it. Hey, come on, bro. We need you out here. Uh, not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. I see you. Yeah. Hey, Dre. What up, Nicole? Ah, bop, 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 bop. Hey, 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 hey. Uh-uh, have a seat. Y'all ain't gonna start with me today. Mm-hmm, have a seat. Let's go. What up, Dre? What's good, Tess? I think that's everyone. Good morning, class. I am Miss Etney, your English One teacher. Although this is the first day of school, you will be taking work home today. Oh, my God. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Well, you'll need to get used to it. This ain't middle school. We are here to prepare you for college and send you on your path to success. Pull out your books and turn to page 14. Okay, class, remember to read chapter one and answer the questions on page 39 through 42. You know my birthday this weekend. I'm having a pool party at my aunt's crib. You should come through. Yeah, I'll see you. You seen Ron? No, nah, I ain't seen him. Hey, my art class is lit, bro. Man, everybody up in there. Oh, uh, yeah? Heck yeah, bro. Shh, it was me, Brian, Chris, Kevon, Patrick. Everybody, bro. Man, my class was dry. Let me see your schedule, Ronnie. Ugh, we don't ever have classes together. I know, baby. It's cool, though, baby. I'll see you at lunch. Come on, girl. We gotta go. Bye, babe. She still tripping, bro? Yeah. She'll get over it. Welcome to Home At. I am Miss Sams, your teacher for the year. In this class, we will be learning about health, nutrition, and the best part, cooking. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You all will be working in groups of three. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to choose your group members. Can I be in y'all group? Yeah. Time's up. I need one person from each group to write down your group members' names and turn them in up here. What's y'all names? Eric Patterson. DeAndre Brown. I'm Lena. Man, she fine, bro. She cool. Hey, you got a boyfriend? Can I change groups? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you gonna stay for the tryouts? Probably not. I gotta cut the grass. Oh, come on. Just stay for the first half. You gonna give me a ride home? I got you. Hey, bro. I got first block with her. Who the one with the hair? No, no, bro. The lipstick shirt with the nose ring? Woo! I was worried about you for a minute, boy. Man, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her, though. Do your thing, boy. Oh, dang. They done let Brian off the sideline. Hello? All right, let's go. So, how was your first day? It was cool. Did you make any new friends? Nah. Don't forget you got to cut that grass before your daddy gets home. I know. Man, I ain't no school could get more complicated. <laughs> what you mean, man? I got all these classes I got to remember when to go to. Yep. That's how it's gonna be from now on. Well, I ain't ready for that. Your boy was fly though. Right, right. I don't know why you playing those video games when you know you ain't cut the grass yet. You know daddy gonna flip. Devin, come get these shoes out of the living room. Oh, dang. Dre. Don't nobody wanna be waking up this early in the morning writing these essays and reading these boring old books. I wish I had Jim first like my friends. Heck yeah, I ain't even read last night's chapters. 
I did, but that's because I didn't have nothing to do. I wish we read more books by black authors. Some sci-fi fantasy stuff, though. I feel you. What's your name? I'm Dre. You? Nevaeh, what school did you go to? Palmer, where'd you go? I went to Hambrook Hill. Oh, y'all football team is sorry. What's that supposed to mean to me? I'm just saying. Y'all scrubby, man. Well, I play volleyball. Volleyball? We ain't even have a volleyball team. What position do you play? They had me playing setter, but I'm really an outside hitter. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to pick up where we left off. But first, I want y'all to give me your understanding of the passages. Let's start in the back. Lionel. The little dude, uh, Daniel. He didn't want his family to be cracking on him because he wanted to be a ballerina. So he uh he lied and told everybody he was joining the army. That's kind of it. Hmm. Okay. What else happened, DeAndre? Uh. So Daniel, right? Yeah. Daniel then goes to the store, buys an army costume, right? You know he got to make this lie thing come through. Then he has a going away party. He got his whole family at the crib, you know, eating steaks, chopping it up. Then his mom comes downstairs holding his ballerina slippers. And it all goes down from there. <laughs> <laughs> nice little story there, Dre. Next time, read the assignment, Novea. Daniel continues going to his dance class and sprains his ankle right before his competition. He still goes to the competition and wins a scholarship to an art school. Very good, Alex. I'll put it away. Give me your phone. For real, for real. I'll put it away. Give me your phone. Man. I want all cell phones to go in this box before class and you can pick them up at the end of the class. See ya, Dre. All right. You look just like your dad. How you know my dad? I went to school with both of your parents. They were always up underneath each other. Oh, okay. DeAndre, don't think you could just breeze by in my class. I know your daddy ain't gonna go for that. Yeah. Bruh. It was clowning Brian in art class, bro. For real? Yeah, I was trying so hard not to laugh, but I know Brian ain't just let that happen. What'd he say? Nah, he didn't say nothing. It was weird, bro. He just sat there. Brian just sat there? Yeah, bro. He just kept looking down at his paper like he didn't hear him. There ain't no way he didn't hear Patrick, bro. Dang, that's messed up. I know, bro. You can't tell me my son not good enough for your team. My son was a top receiver in the state for two years straight. You not go put my boy on a team? Sir, this school only has one football team. 200 players tried out. Out of that 200, only 36 can make the team. Although Brian is good, he did not outperform the other wide receivers. What you mean he did not perform the other receivers? Why is he telling me you ain't put in no work? I did. I scored that touchdown right at the end. He seen me. Nobody could touch me. Yeah, you got that touchdown at the end, but the whole trials you were flopping all over the place. My son don't flop. My son, don't flop. What you need to do is find another job because this here ain't for you. You don't know talent when you see it. Hey, man, better bring your voice down. I ain't about to sit still too much longer. You know how many recruiters is looking at my son? You know how stupid you gonna look? Do you know how stupid you gonna look? Oh, shoot. <laughs> 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 Y'all see Brian's pops? Yeah. He really think his son's some top-notch receiver. I ain't never seen hands more slippery. I know you ain't talking, Chris. I don't even know why you made the team. How you gonna be third kicker off the bench? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never, ever gonna see the field, bro. Whatever, man. Man, I ain't trying to run no five miles. Just jog, bro. It ain't even that hard. Yeah, bro, because you're used to doing this. I don't play sports. You gotta pace yourself. All right, so we're gonna run to the youth center on 12th Street and take the back roads Back to the school, all right? Y'all got that? Greg, you got the back, I got the front. Let's go. Come on, bro. It ain't even been five minutes. Who they checking for? Why you ain't in school? Hey, what the? Oh, dang. Uh, they let us out early. Man, they ain't let y'all out early. You too young to be skipping school, bro. What you thinking? Who in here with you? Nobody. Just me. Man, I swear you dumb, bro. Who skipped school in the sixth grade, man? Man, I'm going back. I'm just getting something for lunch. I swear to God, bro. Why you here? Ain't you supposed to be at school? Don't ask me what I'm doing. Put that back. It's time to go. All right, go. 
so you just not gonna answer my calls. Whatever, Whitney. You act like you don't even love me. Whitney, we broke up. So that's just it? You just gonna throw it all away? No. Whatever. You ugly anyways, and I already got me a new boo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm here to pick you up today. All right, I'm coming out. Hey, bro. What's wrong with him? Got a call from his principal today. He said he was skipping school. Him and his little friend, Pharrell. Oh, dang. Does dad know? Yeah, I told him. Gotta calm him down before he gets home. You know how he can get. Yeah. Devin! Devin! Boy, if you don't get back here... I got it. Devin, what is you doing, bro? You tripping. Man, I hate him. Come on, man. Don't say that. He always yelling at everybody. He always hitting me. One day somebody gonna knock him in his mouth. Okay. I'm gonna run away. Or live with grandma. Or something. So I don't have to see him again. Man, you ain't finna go nowhere. You just mad. Just watch, man. He ain't gonna keep putting his hands on me. Hey, if anybody understands it's me, I'm tired of him too. But running away, it ain't gonna stop him. And if you keep acting dumb, he definitely ain't gonna stop. Man, I don't care. You need to, bro. You out here acting wild ain't gonna get you nowhere. You trying to be a bum? Because that's how you acting. Man, no. All right, then stop acting stupid. You stop doing stupid stuff, you gonna stop getting in trouble. All right, come on, man. I ain't going back. Is you trying to make it worse? You know if Pops get home and you ain't there, he really gonna flip. So? You can't act like you ain't bringing this on yourself, bro. Just come on. Man, it's gonna be all right, bro. Just take your beatings like a champ. <laughs> you gonna be all right? Get off me. I'm just messing with you. I ain't never had a hand out, but still found a way for me to stand out. Yeah, every whip got the tent now. I try to stay low key when I step out. But my nigga said your whip ain't clean unless that bad bitch sitting no on shoes. I made my mind up as a young teen. There ain't nothing that a nigga can't do. I only know how to win. Bro, you ready? Hold on, bro. Dang, bro. Did you spray the whole bottle? Nah, I just sprayed it twice. Man, you gonna have my car smelling like that. My bad, bro. How you feeling? It's just school, bro. I'm sure high school ain't that big of a difference. Yeah, it really ain't. It's just more people. I'm just glad Pharrell going up here. Oh, I thought he was still at the alternative school. Nah, they gonna let him come here. That's what's up. They gonna have to stay out of trouble this time, though, because I ain't got time to be fighting all the time. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm trying to stay out of trouble myself. Now, that's what I like to hear. Y'all growing up. Nessa coming up here? Man, I don't know. Probably. What, y'all broke up or something? Yeah. Oh man, I thought you really liked her. Just some petty stuff. She thought I was embarrassed to be with her because I wouldn't tell everybody we was together. Were y'all? Nah, I just didn't want everybody in my business. I can understand that, but people knowing y'all together don't mean they ain't y'all business. Yeah, I know. It don't matter now, though. So I don't. Hey, Devin. What's up? Yo, Brody. Let me get a Nate. Hey, bro, back up. Man, I'm trying to get mine early, bro. Good looking out, Cuddy. Hey, Devin. What's up, Kanisha? What's up, Devin? What's up? I'm glad you ain't here. This class was gonna be mad boring. I know, right? Your hair is cute. Thank you. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? I didn't even know you was gonna run out that quick. Yeah, they was all on me today. You clean up too? Nah, I still got a few dimes on me. Let me know when you really ready to start moving away. I'ma just do this right now, bro. What about me? What about you? I'm ready. <laughs> you still hooping? Oh uh, yeah, bro. You already know. All right. I'm going to get up with you later. All right. Whatever. They is not going to do that. Yep. Yeah, you seen it in the movie. They dropping them one by one. I think that stuff is true because if you look at some of the older movies, they predicted a lot of stuff we got now. Yeah, that's true. But that doctor, though. Girl, he yeah. Look good. And that one girl was acting too thirsty. Yeah, because did you see how she was laying on him? He was doing the most. Because she was all like... Man, hell no. Nah. Don't put that fish pool on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that. That's why nobody wants you. You living in the past with that raggedy haircut. At least I got hair. Ain't nothing you can do with that. <laughs> awesome. Don't touch me. Ain't nobody gonna touch you. Me calling sick tomorrow and paid for 24 hours. Straight. You can't even talk I didn't know it's possible to smell this bad. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. Boy, whatever. You know you love these braids. I mean, they cool. 
You just gotta switch it up sometimes. Put it in the bun or something. I think you should wear your hair like that. Who? You. I think you'd be cute with a man bun. Nah, I ain't doing that. Who be doing your hair? Me. Oh, for real? You retwisting everything? Yeah, for now. It's just cheaper. Well, you do a good job. Thank you. What you doing at the school? I don't know. Probably who? You should come with me and my friends. We're going to laser tag. That sounds cool. And bring your friends too. Yeah, I'll see. Hey, for real? Nah, I ain't for real. You can get your ass beat. Chill out, little dude. My bad. You got a dime? Bro, I got a new plug. For what, bro? I'm talking some good, bro. We can charge way more. Yeah, y'all need to go ahead and do that. This ain't the time to be talking about it, bro. Man, ain't nobody think about Maya. Turn back around. You need to get on board, bro. Missing something? Oh, uh, my bad. I just never seen anybody that looks like you before. Enjoy the view. Your mama let you have all those piercings and tattoos? I ain't got no mama. Ah, uh, my bad. There you go, girl. What's up? Hey, Devin. I didn't know you was coming. I wasn't planning to. I just seen him at the gas station, and he said he was coming here, so I just came with him. Where's your friends? Tanisha. I was talking about guys. Ah, uh, my bad. We was gonna play a few games first, because we don't got the room till 4.30. Alright. Why is she here? Exactly. I did not invite her. You want me to say something? Nah, girl. We're gonna keep it cute. She know what she was doing. Okay, girl, but you know I will. Hey, our game's about to start. All right. Uh, we only got one extra ticket, so you probably can get in on the next people's game. Oh, all right. I'll just wait out here. All right. Get up. It's gonna be another long day. After we clean up this pavement, we gotta go paint a kitchen out south. So what's going on with you? Done. You gonna try out for the team? Yeah. Yeah, them boys could use some help. You gonna run the point? I'm thinking to. I don't know if they gonna let a freshman run varsity though. I don't see why not. You ain't more than qualified. It ain't like they out here killing it. They definitely need to change it up. Yeah, Terrence told me the coach already got his team now. That don't mean nothing. They all do. They all got their favorites. But when they see some undeniable talent, they ain't got no choice but to switch it up. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. It would be cool if I could go to the gym on Saturday so I could work on my game some more. That's cool. Just go after we finish working. Nah, I mean, all Saturday. Terrence found this trainer that's going to help him with his speed and his strength. And he asked me if I wanted to train with him. You don't need all Saturday to do that. You don't need to focus on that right now anyway. You still develop. Pops, I want to take this ball serious now. For what? You think you're going to go pro? Maybe. That's cool and all, but that sounds more like a hobby to me. What I'm teaching you is a lot more resourceful and lucrative. Basketball is a one-way street while I'm giving you a four-way intersection. I'm not trying to talk down on your dreams, son. I'm just giving you necessary tools just in case things don't go as you planned. I only know how to work.